Sometimes in the design world, you want to highlight things without having a big massive sign saying, look over here, there's something important. So in that case, I've got a couple of different methods you can use to highlight parts of your images. Hello my friends, Rob here from Button Press Graphics back with another Inkscape tutorial and today it is a simple one. Something that is going to allow you to highlight different aspects of your designs in a very unique and nondescript way. So without further ado, let's get started. Now as you can see on screen, I've just got a picture of some cherries. Now, say you want to highlight the bulbous part of the cherries. These areas right here. Well, there is one very simple way of doing it, which is very, very effective. Firstly, we're going to need to select the photo in general, and then we want to turn it grayscale. But before we do that, we first need to make sure that we have two copies of the image so i'm going to right click duplicate and now if i zoom out a little i can click and drag this off to the side so now we have two different images next i just want to use my pen tool which can be found right here so i can basically draw a shape around both of the cherries but leaving everything else alone so that's what I'm going to do next. Now, once you've outlined the shape that you want to highlight, you can turn it black so you can see exactly what you've made. At this stage, everything that you have black is what you're going to be highlighting. The rest is going to stay gray. So let's do the next step of exactly what I said, turning the picture grayscale. Now for this, you're going to need to use your select tool to select the image. And then we're going to add a filter. The filter can be found right here and just drop down, select that. And then if you are running the 1.4 beta, you'll be able to go to your filter gallery and search for it that way. But if you haven't and you are running on Inkscape 1.3 or before, you can scroll down to color and then to grayscale. Now this is going to bring open a little box like this. This is all your balances of the colors and your lightness. Now with that done, you can apply once you're happy with the levels of grays. And now we're going to get the shape that we made previously and we're going to slide it over until it's covering the other shape. But now that we have this selected, we can hold shift, select the photo and then go to right click and then go to set clip and now we have just the two cherries on their own in full color now with this done we can simply move this over and just like that you now have highlighted the cherries in the picture that is a really cool effect that you will see used quite a lot in different designs all around the world but what about if you want to add more of a glow? Well, we can do that too. As you can see on screen, I have a picture of a beautiful tiger looking directly at the camera. This is a gorgeous picture. And I have to give credit to the person on Pexels that has actually taken this photo. Pexels.com is a website which has a library of images that you can use for your videos, streams, etc. completely 
free. Now for this picture in general, or the only thing that I want to be highlighting are the eyes. I think that is going to look very, very good. But the principle remains the same. We are going to take this picture, right click, duplicate, and then move this over to the side. And then we are going to copy the eyes. So we're going to zoom right in and all we're going to do is get the blackness of the eyes around the eyeball on both eyes. That is pretty much it. So again, using exactly the same method, we're going to go to our pen tool and then we are going to start creating a shape that will go around all of the eye. And now with both of them shapes made, I am just going to go back to my select tool, select them both, and then turn them black. And of course, I'm going to union them together by going to path, union. And now we have our eyes. So we're going to go back to the original photo and we're going to make this one grayscale by again adding the grayscale filter. So that's filters, color, grayscale. Click the live preview and we have something that looks a little like that. I'm going to click apply and then close out of that. And then I'm going to grab the eyes and I'm just going to slide them over. Now what I want to do with these eyes in particular is I want to turn them piercing red. And now that we have the red overlay on top, we're going to turn off the stroke by holding shift and pressing the red X. And next we want to add a blend mode to it. So by going to your fill and stroke menu, which can be found right here if you haven't got it already open. And if you're using a previous version of Inkscape, you will find this toolbar right here across the top right here underneath the file bar. But now we have these selected and we are on our fill and stroke menu, we can come down to the bottom where it says blend mode and we can select the blend mode we want. For this one, we want overlay. And now just like that, we have managed to create a tiger which is completely grayscale apart from the eyes. Now when it comes to these eyes you can also drop the opacity if you think it's a little bit more intense or you want it to be a lot more subtle like this. But for what I'm wanting I think that looks absolutely perfect. Finally, there is one more that I want to show you, which is quite similar to this, but will add a glow as well. Now, what you can do with this is you can right click and duplicate. We've now duplicated the eyes that were sat on top. We can delete that, select the main image and duplicate and then move that along. And now with the second set of eyes that we have got, I'm just going to raise this to the top. I'm going to slide this over so we get two pictures that look quite similar. But now that we have these eyes, I'm going to put the overlay back to normal. And now I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to go to my filters. I'm going to go to shadows and glows and drop shadow. Now we've used this method in the past for like the cutout designs and stuff like that. But for this one, we're just going to use it as a highlight. So of course, click live preview. But this time where it says shadow type, we're not going to do an inner cutout. We're going to do an outer cutout. Now when it comes to blur color, we are going to, of course, change the color. We want the blur color to be red like this. So I'm going to turn this all the way up. And as you can see, we now have the red shadowed highlight, but we have a very small blur, which is why we can't see it that well. 
But as I increase the blur, let's increase it to something around 10. We then get this outer glow effect. Let's try 20. And if you want it matched up perfectly, you can set the horizontal and the vertical to zero. And just like that, you now have two different ways of highlighting objects. So this is a very simple and easy way of highlighting elements of your designs or your photographs and making them stand out a lot more than the rest. Did you know that you can become a member of the Button Press Graphics YouTube channel? Well, now you do. You will get a lot of added benefits and you will directly support the channel, enabling me to make much better content in the future. Also, you can send in your artwork into the creative corner. This is a regular section where I will showcase your work in a future video. But for now, Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to bid you all a fond farewell and I will see you next time.